Welcome back, everyone, to the True Ball and Black Eagle Pro Am. Darren Christianberry, Women's Pro. There's our leaderboard. What are we looking at? Uh, Cara Kelly, Sharon Wallace. Cara's leading with 402, Sharon at 398. Samantha McCann, this is her first shoot down. New face to the ladies' pro shoot off. Kaylee Johnston, Emily McCarthy, no strangers, tied at 392s. Ten point difference there. This is going to be a good one. Let's go to Nathan Brooks to bring out our archers. So we'll get the competition started this afternoon. We're going to start off with the women's pro class from Wazika, Wisconsin, shooting for Matthews, Emily McCarthy. And in fourth place, from Dublin, Georgia, also shooting for Matthews, Kaylee Johnston. And in third place, from Tolesboro, Kentucky, shooting for Elite, Samantha McCann. And in second place from Townville, South Carolina, shooting for PSE, Sharon Wallace. And your number one qualifier from Lapeer, Michigan, shooting for Matthews, Miss Cara Kelly. All right, Darren, here we go. So uh, for folks who are just tuning in, as we mentioned, we talked a little bit about it. This is a judging class. Explain what that means. These ladies had a judging period prior to shooting right here, 10 minutes. They got to walk around and look at these targets from the shooting stake. And what they're doing is putting their best guess. They have to look just at the target at the ground, figure out what they think the distance is for each target. They're going to get one minute to shoot their arrow. They're going to set their sight, aim accordingly, and try to get the most points for every shot they take. Max distance, we know, can be no more than 50, give Ish. or take. There's a little wiggle room. <laughs> yeah. But they know that. That's it. They do. So this, and like Nathan said earlier, for every yard you're off, it's just about an inch at 40 yards and pass. So uh, aiming correctly is very important here. So folks at home are seeing the umbrellas out there. That is for shading. There's no wind here. There's no rain, obviously. They're using those umbrellas because they can get glare off their lenses. So. Yeah, we've come from the deep, dark woods like we talked about, and it's just as bright and sunny out here as can be. So. I would think these targets probably look big and bright. They probably look closer uh, than what they actually are. So we may, I'm, I'm anticipating seeing maybe some low arrows. So first up, we've got Cara Kelly with a 10 on her first shot. She is our leader. I like these races where there's only 10 points between first and fifth. So it really can be anybody's game. There's a good look at Sharon Wallace. One of the best in the women's division out there. A good 10 on that new feed and dough. Sharon's been having a great year. Samantha McCann is up next. And for folks who think, you know, some of these archers are full-time, here's Samantha McCann, a full-time high school math teacher here in Kentucky. Good for her shaking those nerves off with a 10 off her first arrow. 
She shot amazing this week in hitting 11 12s in qualification. That's a bunch in those dark conditions out there. Next up, Kaylee Johnston. As they walk over to the hyena. And this is the closest target. We don't know the distances, but this is the closest. And she got it. First lady to make a move. Kaylee got a bonus ring. Emily McCarthy is now the bless buck, conversely, is the longest target. And that ring there, we should, you can see the arrows just above a ring. That's a core line. That's not a scoring ring. That's a replaceable section of the target. Kaylee got a bonus point there. We did, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but when the ladies and gentlemen that want to call an upper 12, they have those orange cones. You'll see them set them out in front of their box. That means they're calling for the upper 12. So the lower 12 is no longer in play. They have to shoot the upper 12. If they do hit the lower 12 by accident, it's only a 10. So putting that orange cone out in front of their shooting box means that they're going to shoot at that upper 12. No change in positions there, but we did have some, a little bit, Kaylee Johnston sneaking up on Samantha McCann there. Mm -hmm. We shoot five arrows in regulation. Anybody within 10 points of the leader after those five arrows will get a sixth and potentially final arrow. The only way you would shoot more is if they're tied on score and bonus rings after six. So every archer that's within 10 of the leaders after five will get a shoot in an additional arrow to try to maneuver a higher spot on the podium or a higher finish. You can see that glare that we're seeing on the Black Panther. It's not quite that bad for the archers, but it's not great either. I mean, that thing just looks like a blob. There's a good look from Samantha McCann from behind right there, shooting that close hyena. We're gonna go start off with Emily on the turkey. She got that 12. That'll help her cause. Next up, raising dough. There's Carr. I always talk about Carr in the shoot-off. She's so steady, so consistent. She's in a bunch of these, and you can see why. She aims a bow about as good as anybody. Got that grazing dough. Oh, yep, she, she must have called. Oh, she yeah, did. she did. She <laughs> called up her. She kicked her cone right there. <laughs> Oops, her 4.22. Next up, we have Sharon Wallace, who won our last event in Camp Minden. All right. For Sharon Wallace, a 10 also. Goes for a 418. Still four they might be getting a little wind drift there. Her and Samantha hit almost identical arrow holes on that target. There is a little breeze out of here. Be going from the shooters right to left, it feels like it's hitting me in the shoulder. So I'm assuming it's going from right to left for the archers. All right, Samantha McCann. Not a ton of wind. It's not a big factor today. On the hyena. That center bonus ring, that doesn't count. That's just 10 points. That's not a, a, a that's not worth any extra Bill, points there. Favor. Those three gentlemen out there are the reason this tournament's going so smoothly this weekend. Either boo or applaud, but that's Don Bailey, Scott Parrott, and Ken McElroy. <laughs> you heard Mike Tyrell give a nod to our scoring crew out there. These guys put in some work, a week's worth of work, to get this place ready for our tournament. That Blez box fooling these ladies. Emily and Kaylee both shot high eights on that target, so they're, they're seeing it farther than it actually is. All right, so we got Emily improved her cause there, mm -hmm. tying with Kaylee Johnston, but... Car Kelly 422, Sharon Wallace 418, Samantha McCann 416, and then 412s for Kaylee and Emily. Kaylee, let me know when you're ready, huh? Car is so focused. All right, ladies. We'll She's got a four-point lead over second, so she knows as long as she does her job, keeps it in the ten ring, these girls have to hit bonus rings to catch her. Kara is on the second longest. She's shooting at that Panther. She hit left as well. That's interesting to me. They're all hitting left. Something about that target. Got to be that glare, because we should note that the sun is behind them, so the shadow is forward 
what they're seeing is the shadow. So race to the target. Here comes the cameraman. There's a good look at Sharon Wallace over her shoulder on that hyena. Good job. Right, she smoked up. it if she called the upper. She's been playing the upper game. All right, so Kaylee Johnston on the turkey. She did call upper, so she shot just a little hot. Had a little too much yardage on that one. For an eight, her to 420. There's Emily McCarthy. Got her bow all fixed and ready. It's a good oh, shot on that deer. Just missed it. Just to the right. Ten. We're going to see Emily's husband, Dan, later in the Open Pro mm -hmm. Finals. He made it as well. Let's see if he can continue his streak. Yeah. She hit high left on that target. Oh, that's right. That's a quick change. Four point swing. Sharon's arrow looked good on that hyena. Is that the announcer's curse? That could be. Car <laughs> didn't make a mistake, and these girls hit bonus rings right there. Is a four point swing. There it is. Car with eight. Sharon with a twelve. They're currently tied now. Well, Thirty. Actually, Sharon's leading because she has the more bonus rings. Right. The car is 4.30 and 5 bonus rings. And for Samantha McCann on the Blesbach. Samantha shooting the longest one. Mm -hmm. There's another high arrow on that target. They're really five. seeing something on that. Moves her to a 4.21. She'll drop down to fourth place right now. So that just goes to show you, I mean, Emily McCarthy came in in four, uh, fifth and has now moved up to third. Mm -hmm. Sharon Wallace, meanwhile, is now tied, tied for first. Tied for Leah. Each arrow, it's, whew, you just, it's never over until it's over. Especially with 14 points possible out there. Everybody is currently within 10 points of our leader. This is the fourth arrow. Fourth arrow. Kara is on the shortest target now. Sharon is on the longest. Right. Yeah, we got two arrows in regulation. And then again, anyone within 10 points of the leader will get a shoot a sixth arrow. A lot can happen in one arrow, so uh, really a lot can happen in three yeah. arrows. Kara kind of, with this one being the shortest and the longest up next, she kind of needs this one. Mm-hmm. You can see that stabilizer there just barely floating. Uh -oh. oh, she just missed low. Yeah, she underjudged that one. Her fire just a little low. Sharon, see if Sharon can capitalize here. Sharon got Good one shot. in the 10, ten. ring on that. That's the yeah. first 10 we've seen on that target. So we definitely have a, well, she's, she had the lead, but she definitely has a lead now. Yeah. Okay, first up, Samantha. Kramer, All right, Samantha McCann. She's shooting the turkey. Mm, just low. She said she was so excited to be in this shoot down. First one she's made. I'll bet. Next up, Kelly Johnston, girl at 420. Kaylee, another person who works full time. She's a nurse. Mm -hmm. Eight for Kaylee Johnston. These targets are looking different to these ladies. Like I said, we shot in the woods, the dark, the just horrible judging conditions, and now they're out here in this wide open field. So I'm sure these targets look really different. I can tell they do because they're missing high and low both directions. So they're not calibrated yet to what they look like. We'll see if that holds through the next right, couple classes mm -hmm. as well, if they struggle. Looking at that arrow right there, it doesn't look bad. Looking for that low 12. Just a yard off. Maybe. Just a, yeah, you can see it's just a wiggle low of that line. I'm guessing, guessing that's going to be an eight. Should say They're going to break it, the light out. So yeah. Yeah. It's a foam line, so it's the outer edge of it is not necessarily mm -hmm. perfectly clear. That's close. But That's Don Bailey is calling it an eight. Kelly. Yeah. Close, but yeah, just low. And a chance for Sharon to extend her lead. 
So, Sharon Wallace is going to move to a 440. Mm -hmm. Heading into the last air, and she's going to shift over to the turkey, which isn't as far as the target she so just shot. Sharon definitely took the lead there. Yeah, back to those arrow calls. I know there's a lot of chatter around about, oh, pulling a line and this and that. It did touch or didn't touch. These these targets are foam. They're pliable. When these carbon arrows hit that and they penetrate deep, they drag that foam deeper into the target, and it distorts those lines. You can't just pull the line and get the higher score. It has to touch. So pulling the line's one thing, but pulling the line and the arrow touching the actual scoring ring, that's what you have to have to get the higher value. And we should say the camera angle these guys are looking at high, low, right, left, base. right. Mm -hmm. uh, they're looking all over, so they have a better perspective than we do. Someone wasn't ready there. Cara had to stop her draw. I'm sorry, I can't see you, so I apologize for that. All right. Sharon Wallace was still glassing the target. So this is a big arrow for Cara right here. We'll see her settle down here and be the first 12 on this target. Look at that stabilizer just barely moving. Oh, just just oh, left right. of the 12, I think. It's a good shot, good 10. Didn't fool her. There's Kaylee. Oh, she, oh, she went, went to 14. 14. That's like, really close. I, man, that's hard to see. Good for her. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> I Emily. love seeing that. Emily's real Emily's close. got a close arrow as well. This will be an interesting round. This is arrow number five. So Sharon's first up here. There's a good look at Emily McCarthy on the shortest target. Just a fuzz right, but oh. maybe a 12. We don't know yet. And this is Sharon. I don't know if she moved the cone back. She did Go call upper. It was. There she you go. Got it. Wow. Wow. Right when she needed it. Is that a lower 12? Yes. She called the lower 12. I'm sorry. Oh, she 12. did call. Too much excitement over here. So she there you hear. So Sharon did not call she upper. She does on just that. like Jack. Jack shoots uppers on everything but the turkey for some reason. So she's she's learned that from him. She should have right. stuck with her own plan. Next up. <laughs> Samantha There's Samantha there got go. her a 12. Good for her. 441. Ooh, she's going to be 11 behind, so she won't make the final arrow. Next up, Kaylee Johnson, currently a 428. She needs a 14 ring to move into the final arrow. Just to the right. Good for Kaylee for putting it all on the line right there, though. Good to go for it. Mm -hmm. Puts her at 436. Let's see, Emily's hers is so close. Emily needs a 10 to take third place, which she's got she at got least a 10. Yeah. So she's going to pass Samantha right here with this arrow. How close she gets to the leaders dictates this call. Wow. So there's what I was talking about, where these targets, I mean, that is a manufacturing there's a, Yeah, there's line. a mold flaw. I won't say a flaw. There's a, mold, there's a seam right there. Yeah. You can see that. And so that messes with the actual scoring ring. I'm thinking that one's in from it here. It looks like it, doesn't it? I don't know what to say, but it looks, I think she may have the outside. It's in. Yeah, she's got it. Got it. There you go. Yes. 12 for Emily, 444 by my math. Emily, 444, eight points behind our leader going into the sixth and final. So here comes Carl. Now Carl Kelly, who's Easily going to make the sixth arrow. A there solid we go. For her, to four, Forty-eight. So she's going to be All two right. points. All right, Darren. So we got Sharon Wallace at a four fifty. Cara Kelly four forty-eight. Emily McCarthy four forty-four. Yep. In fourth place. Samantha, Samantha McCann, 441. Kaylee Johnson, Johnson 436. Yeah. Sharon actually has a four-point lead over Cara, so the 14 ring will have to be in play if Cara wants a chance to win. She's four points behind. The only way to gain four points is to hit a 14 and hope Sharon hits a 10 or makes a mistake. So Emily has nothing to lose yeah. here. 14. She, she can't finish worse than third. If she shoots an eight, she just ties Sharon. 
congrats to her for shooting her way onto that podium. Mm -hmm. From fifth she to at least third. Did what she needed to do. We have a saying at ASA that if you run around smiling, you And now no that will be the on. order for this fifth arrow. Emily will go first. We're going to be shooting at the hyena, we're told. And Don Bailey is moving the shooting stake up. So it's going to be... Oh, nope, he's directing them to the coyote. Oh, they're setting out a new target. It's, they are setting out the coyote. That is our special target. Don Bailey is directing him where to set it up. And he keeps backing him up. <laughs> so they're not going to shoot from the original stake, so they can't go off of that. And it's in a spot that no other target has been. And this is the second smallest target we have out here. Yeah. The Wolverine, the Coyote. And you can see how small it is. So it's easy for these guys to carry. So they like to carry it a long way down those shooting lanes. <laughs> yeah. So we typically don't see this target very close. This one's been eating some grass, it looks like. Any of those big targets, if they carry it out to max distance, they got to carry it back max distance. All right, we're going to start your one-minute judging clock now. Uh, so as I was saying, Emily will have the first shot, mm -hmm. Kate, uh, Carl will be second, and then Sharon will have the last shot. So depending on what happens, she can map out her strategy from there. Mm -hmm. You can look at Sharon's, her eyes right there looking at the ground. She's doing some, you know, some incremental judging, you know, looking at a, maybe a five-yard mark or a ten-yard mark. She's working her way to that target where Car is just looking at the target. Emily's just looking at the target. So that's the different ways they're judging the distance right now. They're looking, staring, seeing how much detail they can see. And you'll see them reach down and set their sight. And then they'll figure out where they aim. And the rest is on how well they make that shot. In this division, it's that practice. Because once you shoot this thing a number of times at all distances, you kind of get a sense. Well, they do. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> They have a really good idea of how far this target is, so I don't think they'll miss these rings by very much. If I was in Emily's shoes, I would do nothing but aim hard at that 14 ring right she now. She can probably see it. Oh, yeah, it stands out good on that target when it's out in the open like this. I mean, she knows where it is anyway mm -hmm. and can see the core line. Just, okay, we'll start your one minute. Now. This crowd's going to go crazy if she hits it. My inner Emily McCarthy says that we're going to shoot at this 14 right here. I say she gets it. Long hold. Yeah, she's getting long in that shot. There you go. Oh, there good you job. Go. Good, good, good. She was definitely getting long in that shot. I can't see the clock, but I think it's above 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Uh, Mike Tyrell just said 30 seconds on the clock. Boy, but when you let down, now her heart's racing. Yeah, now it's got to go. So even if there's some wiggles or some movement, she's got to keep good tension in that release hand. This shot has to fire. Elbow shaking just to, oh, just to the oh, right. She right. went after it. I believe yep. she caught the eight line there. Very Good for her. Nothing to lose there. To nope. Into the final top three for the podium without a bow in the I mean, that's a right. smart play. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's, that's her only play, in my opinion. Not that's that that matters, but I think that's the right thing to do right there. That's a difference of several hundred dollars from fifth place to third. Mm -hmm. So Emily will end up with a... Okay, 452. By four points. So now, Cara. Anything four points back. Anything so five or better. If she hits it, she I mean, she can go for the 14. Because yeah. if she hits a five, if she hits the animal, she's guaranteed second. Right. But she really needs to hit a 14 to put some pressure on Sharon. You got that, Cara? I think right. if they stay tight, if she 14s at Sharon shoots a 10, Sharon wins on bonus rings, I believe. I don't think they'll shoot we'll off. They might. Now. I can never remember that rule when I have to remember that <laughs> rule. <laughs> Let's hope she hits it so we make it exciting. Ooh, oh, gosh, that's so close. Oh, oh man. That's so, she's high-fiving. She thinks she's got it. It's really close. Wow. Don Bailey. Oh, man, I think. Oh, I don't know. We 
Everybody can see it on the big screen. Oh, no, come on. That's there. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Now. Here yeah, it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Good that, shot for Cara. That's the different angles that shows you that you can't tell until you see them all. Yeah, so that's a 462. She's now got a 10-point lead over Sharon. All right, Sharon. So Sharon needs a bonus ring. With a 10, you win oh. by virtue of bonus ring. Yeah, oh, there we okay. go. Okay. With an 8, nothing. But if you shoot a 14, this crowd is going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike clarified my question. If Sharon shoots a 10, they end up tied. Sharon does win by win. virtue of the most bonus rings. Right. But if she shoots an 8 here, Carl will sneak away with the win. Now, if I was in Sharon's shoes, I'd put my pin as close to the middle of that 10 ring as I could and hold it there as long as I could and make the best shot that I could. 10 points for the win. She's taking a good long look there. All right, we'll start your one minute now. Congrats to car for giving it all she had there mm -hmm. to get to this point. Oh, oh she missed. Oh, she missed. And the crowd is dead silent. Oh. We don't see that very no. often, Derek Kristen. Perry. We don't. Sure we don't. She gave it. As, as sad as that is for Sharon to lose right there, I mean, Carr shot that 14 and put herself in a position to win, and my gosh. I was not expecting that. No, Derek I wasn't Perry. either. I wasn't either. I Usually wasn't either. Sharon is dead on Thank with her numbers. Very excited. Congratulations to all of you. Wow. And while we're doing, after we finish the ladies. Pro Awards, we're doing the Unbelievable. We're going to talk to Cara here, here in a second, podium. get her over to the interview yeah, circle. But, wow, I'm, I'm still yeah, that's, kind of speechless. That's that's hard to watch because, you know, it, and it's not easy. There's a lot of money on the line there. Sharon's a fantastic archer. She judges distance Absolutely. as good as anybody. And that's yeah. unexpected, but that's what we said earlier. It's yeah. not over till the last arrow's in yeah. the target, and you just uh, never know. Kara is now making her way to the headstand. She's going to put them on there. I believe there is Kara Kelly. Kara, I know you're feeling it right now, but I'll ask you to put that into words as best you can. I don't really know if I have any words. I mean, you hate to see someone shoot an on last target. It sucks, but... I'm thrilled. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe it happened. I um, mean, you did what you had to do. The yeah. 14 on the last shot. That's no yeah. easy shot well, there. Well, I knew that I had to 14 it to even have a chance. And because we were four points apart, and I knew she had me on bonus ring. So it was kind of an all or nothing. So. Car, I, I say it every time on the broadcast how steady and how stable you are out there. You, you're a champ out there. And, and we said you had to 14 it to give yourself a chance to win, which you could tell by the silence of the crowd. We weren't expecting that finish there, but you did what you had to do. Congrats on a great weekend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Congrats, Car. Thanks, guys. Wow. Thriller there. Finish. That's why we do this. That's why we watch this. <laughs> Darren, we are going to be back with Senior Pro after this. Folks, don't go anywhere. We'll be back at the Laurel County Fairgrounds.